This podcast is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. Tom, I know you've you've had to deal with spring football. You've had to talk about this baseball team and watch their games this week in which they thoroughly dominated Missouri. But the number one story for our listeners is what's going to happen with this basketball program with Muss, with Battle, with Tremont Mark. In your opinion, do you think Eric Musselman is the basketball coach this upcoming season? Well, good morning, guys. Always a pleasure. Um, I, I I haven't seen anything. I mean, I've, I've heard all the chatter and all the stuff that's going on, too. Um, I I think Arkansas would be wise to have him back. I think he's he's proven, you know, I mean, he's, he's taken the Razorbacks places they haven't been since 94, 95, as we all know. Um, he's shown that he his team's gathered strength down the stretch. I, I just think it took them so long to find out what their rotation was going to look like this year, and that that's the responsibility of the coaching staff, obviously. But I just think NIL and um, players' expectations and all that are such a big deal in today's game. Um, he's navigated things pretty well until till this year, and so my thought is. Um, I'm not. I'm not that concerned about some of the openings that you hear of as of now, uh, but there could come up some down the the road. UCLA, for instance, that would be more troubling for me. I think that's we we got a text earlier, Tom, that was talking about the California schools, and maybe USC was lumped in there. I don't know if that's necessarily a better job. Uh, I think Andy Enfield's still out there. They didn't have a great season. They're not going to the NCAA tournament. But UCLA and Mick Cronin is always a watch, I think, for Arkansas basketball fans. Uh, Departure-wise, we're wondering if Musk will depart the program. We've already had three departures. Joseph Pinion, Keon Minifield, and also Denajay Harris. Who do, who do you think is the biggest loss for Arkansas basketball in this next season? Um, you mean projecting – Further on the current roster, or the the ones who've already left? Just just of the three that have left, who do you think was uh, the biggest loss? Well, I mean, Minifield obviously was the one who had had the more explosive, most explosive type games and potential and all that. And I mean, the state of Arkansas loves its its homegrown guys, and um, certainly Pinion has his strengths. Um, but I think ultimately for him, it was you know lateral movement, foot speed, and all that on defense that was and, and rebounding that cost him minutes, um, even though we know the, his potential as a three-point shooter. So, yeah, I think many feel. But here's the thing. It, his position, is that duplicative of other, you know, Mark played the point some, Battle played the point a little bit too, um, and he did too. So uh, maybe he's obviously, you know, it could be that he's looking for more playing time. I'm not sure if it was, uh, you know, uh, asked to leave or, you know, the player driven. I'm not sure on him, but I think he's the biggest loss. And I mean, it's just going to happen. I mean, there's going to be guys who leave who really disappoint you. I hated, I hated the football team losing AJ green and, and, you know, yeah. you know, rocket and some, some other guys, but it's, it's just the nature of the game now. And, um, you know, it's going to be rare to have a guy who does like AJ green, which is kind of take a subsidiary role for two or three years um, and and stay with you. And so, uh, but Muss has dealt with constant change in that basketball program. The roster overhauls have been ever since he's been here. And they're on to some names that you, you've already seen, some of these big big power forwards and stuff that they need. I mean, that to me, that's the most crucial element that the Razorbacks must add is a 6'8", 6'9", 6'10", physical rebounder type. You mentioned uh, the beef. Yeah, that's uh, you would love to get a, a few guys in here just like that. We're talking with Tom Murphy, McCarty, Daniel Hotline. He's with Whole Hawk Sports and the Arkansas Democrat Gazette. Tom, you piqued my interest. I know the boys are off at spring break doing goodness knows what. I know I was during spring break. Uh, running back position, I, I don't think we've talked a lot about that with you. Uh, you bring in Jackson from Utah. Dominion is back. We saw a little bit of Augustive this past season. I know we hadn't seen a lot, but have you gotten any indication who you're projecting to be maybe running back one starting August the 31st? I got to tell you guys, um, if I think they have the potential, well, first of all, 
you know, the, the blocking and all the schemes didn't match up last year. So the guys that we knew were good already, Rocket, Dubinion, um, A.J. Green, and uh, Augustov, who came on late, I think – I think Arkansas has the potential to, to be just as productive as their 2022 and 21 teams that were number seven in the country in rushing. Um, you know, based on what we've seen so far, I think Dubinian and Augustov have gotten a lot of reps. But, man, to see J. Quindon Jackson run, he's a big back, and I, I thought he had a little bit of wiggle the other day um, in that 72-play scrimmage situation we watched. He, he looked good. Braylon Russell, physical kid. Uh, needs to run a little lower, but um, I think he's got great potential. I, I really, really like the assemblage of running backs they have, and I hope they can keep them all after spring. Uh, a lot of Jimmy Smith devotees in that group, but doggone, they're good, and um, Dominion has a chance to be a, a really good lead running back. Uh, they all have their strengths, but, man, strong, strong group. Are you surprised that Singleton has been running with the twos? I think we, and again, outside looking in, I think we expected Taylor Green was probably going to be the one, Jacoby Criswell's two, Singleton maybe a little further down at three. But based on practice so far, that's it's not been the way it's gone. Is that a surprise to you? Well, o- only mildly, but Criswell has gotten his work, some work with the twos, and Singleton, he and Cr- Singleton and Chriswell, to me, seemingly have been swapping back and forth, twos and threes. But true, it is true, Singleton has been with the twos more often at first and all that. I think it was just maybe some signals from everything they saw and comprehended during winter, leadership, uh, amount of time spent with the guys. And and, and I, it's cool that you're asking me this, this way because Green is, is far away. I mean, you keep hearing every person who comes in through the interview room his leadership skills, that's what Sam Pittman reinforced the other day. And what that is, it's a reflection on what happened to KJ. I think the NIL and all that money and flying his mom out, you know, the private plane, I think that kind of got to him. I think it separated him from the team. Um, and it's critical that your quarterback is, is lifting everybody up instead of kind of separating himself. And, um, you know, KJ didn't come from a – a, a strong economic background as far as I know. And so that money, I think it changed him a little and it, it hurts the locker room. And so I think green um, so far has shown uh, uh, he's a uniter and a leader and that quarterback room. I mean, I, I, I think he's a clear one a, and then I, and the, between the other two, um, the, the physicality, what their grasp of the offense looks like so far has been pretty similar, but Singleton through the pass that has led to the greatest catch we've seen in, in spring so far. It, it was Davion Dozier, one hand, backhand at the goal line. Yeah, that was that highlight was pretty cool that we've seen on social media. Tom Murphy with us via the McCarty Daniel Hotline, Whole Hawk Sports, Arkansas Democrat Gazette. Tom, we took a call earlier that heavily pushed back on Hunter Yurichek, and he pointed out the football program where it's at, the basketball program, and they're again downturn the last two years the women's basketball program with mike neighbors if you polled your audience how do you think fans would feel about the current job that hunter yurichek is doing as the athletics director you know there, there'd be some split results no question but here's the thing uh people griped about kendall Browse about the short yardage and <laughs> all that Me- meanwhile arkansas was r- ranking seventh in the country in rushing in back-to-back years. It's phenomenal. The offensive numbers were some of the best Arkansas has ever put up. They stacked up with the 2010 offense and the 2015 offense, and people griped nonstop about Kendall Bryles. Well, you look. what do you want from your athletic program? You want results across the board, success, et cetera. Uh, Sam Pittman, he's the same coach who led them to a 9-4 record in 21. Things have fallen off. Uh, the NIL part is what they've got to get together. Uh, they've made moves to try to make it better. Uh, let's see what the results look like. Uh, but um, Hunter Yurichek is well regarded. I mean, in all the circles, he's gotten bigger roles, bigger positions on uh, leadership. College football uh, playoff committee. Uh, exactly. Just added. exactly. Mm-hmm. So I'm saying his reputation, his, his personal skills are phenomenal. 
And so um, I, I agree, though. If football continues to struggle, if basketball really struggles next year, then you have to look at what's going on, what's the answer. But these are the same coaches who led Arkansas to great success. I mean, Musselman's success uh, unparalleled in Arkansas since since the Nolan Richardson championship years. So mm-hmm. um, I, I, I've got a little bit more patience than the average fan. <laughs> Tom, we got 30 seconds left with you. So I'll end you on this. Speaking of reputation, Arkansas baseball has one. Number one team in the country, unanimous, announced yesterday. Uh, what was the biggest takeaway for you in their dominant performance against Missouri as we'll let you go this morning? I'm actually writing about it for tomorrow. It's starting pitching. These guys, the strikeout rate, unbelievable. Um, their earn run averages and batting average against are dropping. And I know it's not going to hold the whole season. There's going to be rough outings. Uh, Tigers control has got to get better, et cetera. Molina's the same, but it, it's just really unbelievable what they've got with those three. It's going to give you a chance every weekend, home road, neutral. It doesn't matter. Uh, if their hitting comes along, they're going to be really, really strong. Bet Online is your number one source for all your betting needs. Get the latest odds, lines, and matchup reports for baseball, boxing, golf, and more. Bet Online continues to be the fastest and easiest way to place your wagers, including live betting and your favorite casino and card games available to play right from your phone. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and get in on the action. Remember to use our promo code BELIEVE. That's B L E A V. For your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online where the game starts.